Good morning, this is Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center in Miami with the 8 a.m. update on Hurricane Griffin. Griffin's currently located over west central Florida, about 70 miles to the southeast of Tampa. It's moving off toward the west-northwest at 15 miles an hour. Over the past few hours, Griffin has weakened a little bit, but it's still a Category 3 major hurricane with maximum winds of 115 miles per hour. Uh, as Griffin continues to move off toward the west-northwest, it's going to reemerge into the Gulf of Mexico uh, later today but we still have hurricane warnings in effect for a good portion of the east coast of the Florida Peninsula from New Smyrna Beach southward to Ocean Reef, and that also includes Lake Okeechobee. There's also a hurricane warning in effect for the west coast of Florida from Boca Grande northward and westward across the Panhandle to Destin. Outside of those areas, we have tropical storm warnings in effect for the southwest coast of Florida and the Florida Keys, the northeast coast of Florida, and the portions of the Panhandle west of Destin. Uh, we do expect Griffin to, uh, to move offshore uh, into the Gulf of Mexico later today and then gradually turn toward the northwest and the north and that's going to bring the center of Griffin very close to the Florida Panhandle early Tuesday morning. Uh, and uh, we do expect Griffin to have the potential to re-strengthen, uh, possibly being a near major hurricane status as it makes landfall in the Florida Panhandle. Um, in terms of the hazards, hurricane conditions are, are going to continue across much of the central and southern Florida Peninsula this morning. Uh, tropical storm conditions are going to begin in the Panhandle later today, so folks there really only have a few hours to prepare before the uh, conditions begin to deteriorate. And we expect hurricane conditions to begin in the Florida Panhandle uh, later to, uh, uh, excuse me, hurricane conditions to spread over the Florida Panhandle tonight and Tuesday. Um, in terms of the hazards, Storm surge is going to be a big threat here. Uh, the surge is going to diminish from five to eight feet along the, the central and southern east coast of Florida down to around two feet as, uh, as Griffin moves out into the Gulf of Mexico. But along the coast of the Florida Panhandle, we expect a storm surge of up to eight to 14 feet above ground level near and to the right of where Griffin makes landfall. And that surge could penetrate inland as much as 10 to 15 miles from the coast. So it's not going to just be a coastal event for storm surge. Uh, folks all along the Florida Panhandle need to be especially concerned about that. Um, other hazards are going to include rainfall of up to 10 to 15 inches across much of Florida, and that could produce some uh, uh, flash flooding in terms of fresh water that people are going to need to be concerned about. Uh, the tornado threat is going to be uh, isolated tornadoes across the Florida Peninsula today, and that threat's going to expand up into the Panhandle and to the rest of the southeastern U.S. as we go through tonight and Tuesday. Uh, I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center in Miami with the 8 a.m. update on Hurricane Griffin.